You've probably heard of brainstorming, planning, or maybe even pre-writing. All of these words, while useful in themselves, can be wrapped up into a single term from the classical rhetorical tradition, invention. Invention, as defined by Cicero, is the discovery of valid or seemingly valid arguments to render one's cause plausible. Invention, then, isn't creating arguments out of thin air. It's about finding relevant materials for the subject you are speaking or writing about. This first canon as part of the composing process is vital because it helps you gather the threads that you'll be working with as you craft your speech or paper. It helps you figure out what kind of reasoning you'll use in your argument, the evidence that you'll use to support that argument, and the ways that you'll appeal to your audience. In brief, invention is the tool you use to find out what you're gonna say. All right, so I've been talking in very abstract terms so far. What does using invention look like when you're creating a speech or writing a paper? In both instances, the discovery process of invention will rely on concepts you're already quite familiar with. You'll want to be aware of your audience and you want to have some kind of question you want to answer about your topic of choice. You may have heard your teachers call this a research question. From there, invention is all about finding your sources and considering how they will work together. What does the research say about your topic? And how do the various sources you find relate to one another on that topic? One of my favorite strategies for inventing arguments in a research context is a threefold model for academic conversation found in the work of English scholars Gerald Graff and Kathy Birkenstein. This threefold model breaks all relations between academic arguments into three categories. Agree, disagree, and agree with the difference. When you're looking at any two academic sources making an argument about the same subject, they will either agree with each other, disagree with each other, or will agree on some points and disagree on others. Invention happens when you figure out which of these options best describes the relation between the two sources and what implications that relation has for your research question. I use this method myself in the Introduction to Rhetoric and Writing course all new students in our program take. I wrote a literature review on the use of civil religious rhetoric in presidential inaugural addresses, and I invented content for it by using Graf and Birkenstein's model. I worked with my sources by thinking about how they agreed, disagreed, or agreed with a difference about the nature of civil religious rhetoric and how incoming presidents used it in their inaugural addresses. This method produced a fruitful dialogue between Robert Bella, Vanessa Beasley, Cynthia Tulin, and several other scholars on the ideological functions of civil religious rhetoric in the inaugural address. Now that you've invented or discovered the arguments you'll be using, you need to figure out how to arrange them for your speaking or writing context. And with that, we move on to the next canon, Arrangement, presented by my colleague Jenna.